What's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Rome Remastered Let's Play as the Brutii. And in this episode we are, I mean we probably don't really need to fight it, but it's a, uh, it's the final battle of the faction so we may as well, well I want, <laughs> even though I don't think it's going to be a particularly interesting battle, I want to fight it because of the swine who were my protectorates but then betrayed me and decided, you know what, we don't want to be your protectorates anymore, thanks and i want to wipe them off the map because well i'm also we need <clears throat> we need to because one of their uh, other smaller armies is laying siege to one of our cities so this is actually quite a fascinating i think that's a really beautiful looking city because it's got all these barbarian wooden buildings inside but surrounded by a stone wall and i think that looks rather neat i generally like fighting fighting in barbarian cities anyway because you've got lots of these cool little pathways that are pretty interesting but here it's a game of it's just the pirates not just not pirates peasants so ultimately we're gonna have our three units are gonna advance up the walls everyone else can sit here and wait so yeah peasants peasants that haven't deployed properly because they're a, they're a big circular unit and then we've got two peasants on the walls so speed up time because my siege towers should be okay to get to the wall although this one might be up in, in some trouble there's some quite interesting rules of thumb that are useful to know like in in traditional Rome if you had a siege tower coming from the wall if you had an archer unit here firing fire arrows it would get destroyed about here almost every time. Same with sap points. If you had archers target a sap point, you would generally destroy the sap before it got to the wall. So I haven't yet had a chance to test those theories um, in practice because the enemy doesn't seem to like actually fighting siege, like siege battles. Okay, so you guys fight those peasants these guys secure the gate new men secure that gate then go all the way around securing the sides so these peasants are going to be being engaged by this oh no that's not our tower yet yet there we go we have the gatehouse so let's Get our cavalry in. Get our infantry in. Get my archers in. And I guess they've taken that tower, so now I'll just set them to run up there and secure the rest of the wall. These guys are more than enough, although they're going to get tied up with the they're going to get tied up with the peasants because they're going to keep fighting until until the death. Let's get all our cavalry off to the side because that's a... Could you imagine if I didn't have these gates and this was boiling oil was pouring down now? It's funny really. They should definitely... Oh yeah, you guys are taking the... You guys can just get over there now. These men are more than enough to knock out these peasants. They've got another unit of peasants behind them to kill. Let's speed up time because right now we are just... I don't expect these peasants to stick around for very long. Although actually it looks like they are going to... Oh no, they broke. Disregard. Well, actually, getting a cavalry unit to chase them down might not be a bad idea. As they are broken, and we've still got this swarm of men and horses, there seems to be a definite. Well, a real bottleneck here. Ok, 
Okay, I need to run these guys around to capture that gateway, actually. I want to get my cavalry to come in and smash from the rear. Okay, no, don't do that, because they've just pathfind through the centre. Get the cavalry off to the flanks, let's get... Ah. All these men that aren't... This could be a bit of a bit of a bugger. Let's get a legionary cohort to attack the peasants. We just want to get these cavalry out of the way. So if those men try take, well, we all know how long this takes for them to get into position. They're going to kill loads of guys just from that one tower. So many dead legionaries. Okay, now they've got in. So the tower won't be ours, but at least we will be dropping guys up here. Okay, now the tower's ours, because they've broken. I why the hell those archers are up there, I don't know. My bad on those archers. If you guys get around the rear. Cavalry charge them in the flank. My archers desperately trying to find a way out. The enemy, enemy, king, enemy has king has been killed. Has been killed. Make his waver. Get these guys to charge straight through. They all went up there. Huh. So these guys are going to charge into the peasants. They're already wavering. They're broken. And up this hill, they're going to see our cavalry charge up and hit the peasants. So these men just charge on into the... Into the maelstrom. Same of those men also charge up. You guys also run in. Everyone else is also going to run in. See, all the peasants on this stand, you see. Legionaries there, men charging from the left and on the right. Oh my god. Although they're not dipping their spears. There we go. They are surrounded. Fortunately, we didn't lose our entire archer unit. He's still... Look at his little shuffle. But we did not... We didn't lose the entire unit. So, at least... We'll, well, it'll almost cost as much to retrain it as it will to actually... Uh, to have got another one. Right now, it's just a lovely bit of slaughter against the peasants. Just a second, everyone.
Right, sorry, I had a bit of a tickle in my throat. Uh, okay. Cavalry's just... Not doing great against the militia. I mean, they are slow. Look at my infantry, all crab walking towards them, going, ah. Let's get that unit out of there. Oh, they're already. They're routing, that's fine. Speed up time, because right now it's just going to be the slaughter of the Thracian peasants. To the point where we push them off of the square. Let's end it there. Because the faction is destroyed. So now we've got a front line against. Uh, Scythia, although we don't, they are our allies, so we're not that bothered about fighting Scythia. There we go, Rome let's exterminate the population again. Thrace has been destroyed, so let's retrain as many men as I can. Let's go to here and knock down the shrine to Ares, go to shrine to Juno. diplomat of mine. What I want to do is take my general out and do a bit of uh, tower manufacturing. I want to expand my line of sight. This is quite a large area that's not covered. So those Thracians have now stopped sieging but they do have some annoying troops so let's get some men recruited at Polarissum. These troops over here can march up and then they can clear out the rebels. Got some rebels here that sort of thing, troops from Aquinsum can be recruited to deal with. Got a good block of men here, but I would like... Can I be of service? Get some urbans up there. Uh, you're going, Cavalry's going over there. You are also going up here. You keep pushing up towards Trier. Trier, Trier. There we go, keep pushing up. I wonder if you hit that guy, what happens to him? He falls back to Massalia. Massilia. So let's hit Captain Cassius. Yep, he's fallen back, so that gives us a good opportunity to siege the city of Massilia. Let's use our navy to help clear out some undesirables. So one thing I'm probably going to do is change my capital from Tarentum. And I've been thinking about either Thessalonica or Larissa. Larissa will help quell Egypt. But Thessalonica might be a better all-round choice. It gives it'll help me to help some of these settlements chill out to the east. It'll means we it means we could we'll be able to push up from Sinop onto Kotai, up against some of these other Armenian cities. Uh, so I think Thessalonica is gonna be the the city for me. However I go about doing it. There it is. Make this settlement my faction capital. So a big difference should be Tarsus is now up to 80%. Squalor is still a big deal. But I'm waiting for that population growth to trigger to see if I can build the next level. Aqueduct, we've still got a Egyptian army there. But I want them to I want them to attack me because I've got a really good set of defences right here. Yeah, you are a new leader can I Fleet ready. take these ships get you aye to aye go board ship and then cover Set back sail. towards Tarsus to then act as a as a governor there ready this army sail. continues sailing aye south aye we've got Sir. these men marching Sir. east Sir. to hit the city of Thebes these men are marching up to Siwa. We're still recruiting. Cyrene's a bit grumpy. But they're about to expand, so that's probably why. Ooh, let's check our building browser. Thermon, build. Academy, Larissa, build. A scriptorium. Because scriptoriums, they provide bonuses to generals and people that come of age in the city, but they also... Uh, Get a public order bonus because everyone's a lot nicer and follows the law. 
Love of them to the north. Let's build an aqueduct. Pergamum. Let's build a Colosseum. Cyrene. Let's build a Temple of Juno. Polarism. Let's build an amphitheater. Tarsus is no longer rebelling, so we can instead build a market. Arimnium. You can build a Curium. Curia. 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 Yep. Rhodesium, build a scriptorium. Suggester, build a curia. That's everyone building. Servius Marcellus is still going to. Well, when, when he's in fighting strength, fighting shape, he's going to push west and probably hit. Well, we'll take, probably take Marcella. Uh, Servius will probably then go and hit Lung. Uh, Lugdunum, while this force then rebuilds and pushes it west against Narbo Martius. We've still got this army here at Caradus, though I'm unsure what to do. I could just go straight for Carthage. Why not? We could break straight in. They've got large stone walls. May as well. So let's keep building up this fleet here at Rome a bit, just to make sure I don't die from getting chopped to bits overseas. Okay, so let's take you guys. Actually, hold on. Okay, you're all merged up. New men can leave. Carolus is okay with it. Let's get you guys in there. Eh, you wanted two cavalry. No, I probably want the infantry, I think. So let's get you guys up to the port. You're awaiting reinforcements from the south and love of them. Don't build any more infantry. Build cavalry. We probably need to build some fairly quickly. Or I could send some up from Arishium. Send them up there as well. Pure also has some good cavalry. Really, this is why I need really good roads. Because as I exterminate my way forward, my front line is not going to be incredibly developed. New merchant acquired. Hey, he's got a Roman tailor. So it's this guy. Plus one finance and trading textiles. Can I be of service? So he probably wants to be over to the east. At once. Yeah, get, position yourself on the iron. Uh, this city over here is actually chilled out a bit. Let's infiltrate Scythia just to keep an eye on what they're, what's going on. I'd probably like to get a family. Well, this guy, he's going to build build uh, outposts all along this river. Ultimately, Scythia may not be long for this world. Or well, they may betray us. Faction destroyed. Thrace. Hurrah. There's not that many factions left in the world, really. So let's hit end turn. Uh, what happened? I hit end turn. I heard the bell. Nope. Okay. Bit of a concern, but no... Nothing blew up or caught fire or sunk. Julii very handily are blockading Scipii. Armenia pushing north to, to reinforce their Scythian borders, but... When we come sweeping in with our troops, it's likely not going to be a problem. Because the army here at Sinop. Sinop, Sinop. If I take you all and move you out. I mean, they don't like it. That's fair enough. Okay, they really don't like it. Let's put... Do some merging. Let's put some of our... Weak units in there. That didn't help. Okay, let's try and dump some troops like this across. We're up to 67. Squalor's pretty big. Zaka's chilled out a bit more. Let's... Okay, Synops now okay. Get some town watch. Mazaka. What do you want? Archers, probably.
If not archers, then cavalry. So march towards Kotai. Let's infiltrate them again, just to just to uh, stir them up. The Egyptians still, well, they're kind of pushing. Where's my assassin? Nakti Sota. 67%. Got him. <laughs> nice. It's another chap there. So there's lots of armies around here. Too bad I can't do any. If you've not got an archery range. you got Circus Maximus, so why can I not recruit archers? Oh, I can. Archer Oh, it's because they're not Archer Auxilia. I am a dumb dumb. Let's recruit Archer Auxilia. So it looks like Egypt, Egypt are finally making moves against us, which is great because we are making moves against them. Let's take the city of Alexandria. We can attack it, and that's going to be an auto resolve because it's just a nothing garrison. Exterminate the city. It increases naval movement allowances and half the chance of nearby ships at sea sinking. So then take all these guys to sh tell these rebels to shove off. To be honest, take a good chunk of them and actually do it. So Alexandria, retrain. What is your temple? Temple city. That's probably going to not make them not super happy. But they don't even have sewers, so let's build some sewer buildings. And this force down here under Captain Servius. They siege to the city of Thebes. Then what we probably want to do is take this army here and attack Massilia. I can, I, I can never uh, pronounce it. Uh, they got a good amount of troops. Got some good cavalry. Got scattered good units, but not enough to really stop us. So let's engage and capture this next Roman city. Yeah, I'm really not sure what I'm going to do with this campaign when I finish with it, um, because it sits in my uh, it sits in my Monday, Wednesday, Friday fun slots like stuff i want stuff i want to mess around with you have to do something you don't want to do just because someone is telling you to do it i didn't want to be here myself but then my mother told me that i'd better make a reasonable show of it all so here we go <laughs> we are facing the murderous and cunning julii Fiends in human form. They are a dangerous foe and unkind when victorious. They cower behind their walls and pray for help. The balance of numbers favors us, I see. This is good. I do not believe in giving the enemy an easy time. I have never lost a battle against these people. Why should I start losing now with men such as you at my command? Another victory is at hand. I have won many great victories for Rome. Be strong in that truth, and let this be one more. March on, and know that our victory is assured as long as we live and die like true Romans. Let's go get him. <laughs> nice temple, bro. Too Wait, is that a Proconsul's Palace? Proconsul's Palace. Awesome temple of Bacchus. Woodwall. GG. Okay, so let's put the three rams to make an entrance over here, and then let's make an aqueduct. Ooh, that's one thing I do like about Rome, is the city models look pretty cool. The water looks good, I'm sure you probably wouldn't, realistically, wouldn't be able to see the bottom of it, regardless of how clean it may or may not be. Fed from a little sluice here. And then along it goes. Where does it go? I mean, I presume it goes... Well, it goes to a building here that can probably... They collect water from there, I suppose. Hmm. See, it wouldn't work in England, this kind of thing. Not for very long, because you have seagulls sat there just pooping in it. Right. Uh, I have wandered off topic. So let's go and secure some territory near Poop City. 
So let's take the lion's share of infantry, go straight in. These men can secure, help secure our other foothold. Our archers can spread out to support each effort. Same with our cavalry, although our general supports the main effort. These two cavalry units support the flank. Okay, once I've set everyone to start ramming. Okay, they're all back here. They aren't protecting the front line. They want to wear us down in the city. So let's take our archers. Use formation and push up. The circuit. It's the hippodrome. I mean. Here they got a nice lovely semicircle to wheel the chariots around, but here, I suppose the race is there around and back, I suppose. It's not like a NASCAR track, they just keep doing loops. And there's the old arena, just a building, the triumphal arch. God, if I was, if I had a catapult, by God, I'd take that down. In this triumphal column. Okay, let's speed up time because right now we're just. The now they must no one's act actually. Uh... Okay, there's a, one unit of Praetorians that's got within range, and my archers are just well. shooting him in the back. The okay, they finally the are responding to what we've done. Push these men up in general a little bit. Principes. But you men are going to be. Ah, no, stop, don't go in. Well the walls are taken. Yeah, you shoot the Praetorian cavalry. There you go, we've made today. The walls are broken. Our troops should be ordered forward. Our troops on guard mode. You were run were running to push up. So who's this? Early legionary cohort. Let's get some Praetorians in there. The enemy walls are down. Make sure their soldiers are buried beneath the ruins. Go on, Praetorians. Praetorians versus early legionaries. Throw some legionaries in here. Got some more early legionaries coming in to support. Okay, Praetorian Cavalry have pushed off. I don't mind my Principes being a... sponge. I probably need to give these guys a bit more support. So then up over on this side, you guys need to hit those early legionaries. Yeah, those my, these cavalry are involved. Okay, they've been routed. Push on. Kill the legionary cohort. Lots of dead. Stop firing. Let's mob those Praetorian Cav. You probably also need to fire some. Good God, that's a lot of. 
a lot of infantry. What are you? Praetorians. Okay, let's make sure we win. Get everyone in over here. Fired your peeler? Uh, looks like you have. In you go. These are my first. You men smash into those legionary cohort? Actually, no. Yeah, no, don't. Praetorians being skewered by Pila. We've got the Principes that will not stand toe to toe, but they've got Pila, which will do a mighty fine job. Especially if they fire again. Okay, I've got more infantry, but I suspect it wants to go over onto that flank. You guys need to charge in. Uh, all my archers hit the blob of men back there. Especially as they've got some actually good infantry. Oh, no, that's Town Watch's spear arm, so don't want to do that. Well, let's get my... Get my cavalry pushing around the rear. There we go, these guys should be doing some good work. Auxilia, legionary cohort, we've got this this unit of legionary cohort surrounded. My principes aren't great, but they're the hammer to my legionary cohort's anvil. Ah, war dogs. Let's run you guys around around the back. Although, actually, you're, gonna, you're all going to run through anyway. So you men fire at the auxilia. They are being, my archers are being shot at themselves. Praetorian. Can you guys actually fight? Same with you guys. You guys aren't actually fighting. Roman armoured general is involved, so he's... Not long for this world. Let's bring my cavalry around to fight. In the centre up over here. We've got some more infantry. We throw in. We also have our own cavalry. Also get my general up here. Light Auxilia are broken. Enemy General is running away, but he's going to route through our troops. My men are cheering because they've killed all the urban cohorts here. Oh, there we go. They've, they're routing through my men to get to them. So let's pull the archer auxilia back. Yeah, they just don't have very many men now. Okay, just right click everyone to go to the center. These guys are struggling with that order. So right now it's the unit of legionary cohort. Where's some of our legionary first? A lot of dead Julii. OK, 
Okay, they're still being shot at, so just fall back. And there we go, my legionary cohort are in. Cavalry stay out of the way. My legionary cohort should be enough to knock him out. I just wanted to run my Praetorians around the flank a bit and then charge him in. Just because when it's like this, the battles are just not super interesting when it's just them winding down the last handful of puppers. Uh, there's someone left. Yeah, someone in a dodgy space. But let's end the battle there because that was quite a nice win. <laughs> Sextus Posthumus. Posthumus. <laughs> no, posthumous success for you, good sir. Well, posthumous bit could be true. Because you are now dead. That's a good city to hold in this choke point. Exterminate people. Got a good Roman city in there. A good Roman... Uh, a good Roman set of buildings. So let's build walls in an amphitheatre. Retrain my men as much as possible, but I'm going to have to just merge a bunch of them together, and that probably means somewhere. Well, let's get rid of that. Principes! Don't want Principes. Let's recruit, replace them with Praetorians. Yeah, you can push through them. Onwards to Trier. Engage the enemy. These guys are now pushing up into the right sort of place. Good. Lovacis could probably go hit those rebels, but there's not really any need. So this fella. Hey, I can assault. This small building, not small building, this city of... Actually, first of all, what I want to do... Thebes. Three more regions. Okay, I was making sure I wasn't about to attack the last city, not know it, and then start the next episode be like, cool, I fought that battle, and it's done. Um, so three more cities. One one's probably going to be Trier, Trier. One other one's probably going to be uh, Narbo, Martius, and Lundugnum. Uh, but we're very much, or maybe even, Kotai, as we are on the march. Whichever gets there first, and it depends on if the... Well, you know what else could happen. Deploy these men to go hit Jerusalem. Because right now, we've got more cities than we can shake a stick at. And these guys can probably stand to do this. <laughs> they actually can. You men push up and hit Memphis. Uh, but what I said I was going to do was attack Thebes. So chances are, uh, in the next episode, which is an hour special, we will likely end the Brutio campaign. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the assault of... Somewhere. This city. Down. Thebes. Thebes, that's the one. How, how can I forget, forget Thebes? Thebes has... has oh, Thebes is pretty neat. And he looks great for 73. But, right here, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, see you next time. Okay guys, just to make sure I point this out now, rather than uh, the start of the next episode where you might be expecting it, this battle definitely isn't going to happen, because it turns out one onager is not enough to knock down a section of the wall for a large stone wall. Uh, so, my guy needs to make his towers. <laughs> so rather than wait till next episode to tell you this depressing news, um, I figure I'll just tell you now. <laughs> so, see you in the next episode, actually this time.